Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. I hope you guys are doing great today. Now, in this video of LinkedIn marketing course, I'm going to teach you how to do all the settings for your LinkedIn company page and how to do the optimization so that you don't miss out something and you get the best results possible with your LinkedIn page. Now, what are the problems or what are the struggles you can face if you do not optimize your page properly? Let me show you. Well, guys, it is very important to properly set up your page. And if you do not set up all the things, if you do not do uh, complete all the important settings, then you might find some problems in your organic promotions and paid promotions in future. So it is better to properly set up your page so that no one can find out any issue with your LinkedIn business page. Right now, let's directly jump into our LinkedIn account and properly set up the page. So guys, as you can see right now, I'm in my LinkedIn profile, which we have created earlier. Even we have created the LinkedIn page as well. Now in this particular video, we are just going to set up all the settings, important settings on that page, right? So when you log in into your LinkedIn, you might see your home section. So if you have landed on home page, you just have to directly go to this profile icon, as you can see where it says me. Right. Just click on this and you will be able to see in the manage section, you'll be able to see your page. Right. And if you have multiple company pages, multiple LinkedIn uh, pages, you'll be able to see all those pages here itself. Right. So right now we do have only one page in this account. So this is here. Now, if I click on this, I'll be redirected to my page and here it is showing that set up your page for success. So you have to make this bar to the max right you have to reach this bar to the max so how we can do that we have to add all the details important details which are related to our business right so let's start with the description as you can see here it is showing that you have to fill in description location grow your followers as well so let's start with the description part if i click on add button here this edit window will appear now we have to complete all these information one by one right we have to fill in all these information one by one so let's start with the description so i have already written some example demo description so that i don't have to take time while writing this description while creating the video right because it will take too much time so here you as you can see you have the word limit of 2000 words and i have used only 604 words so it is totally up to you that how much content you want to add in here you can properly describe your business in 2000 words after this once you add the description here you have to add the website url so it has been already added then the industry marketing services yes it's already added company size already done company type self-owned already done if it is something different you can do it as well right so right now let's keep it on cell phone after this you can add the phone number although this is not mandatory but if you want you can add it then you can even add the year of founded so you can add that as well right so once you are done with your about section you just have to hit the save button don't forget to hit the save button otherwise this content will be disappeared right so we were in the about sections overview now let's click on workplace so let's turn on this module we have to turn on this module otherwise if you turn off you keep this button on turn off then this module will not appear in your page basically this part or the section will not appear in your page right so let me this uh, turn on this module then primary workplace what are your primary workplace it is on site hybrid or remote so in our case it is on site but in your case it can be anything right so I've selected on site now here it is asking me to describe your company's workplace policy. So right now I am writing just demo and test, right? I'm not adding this demo and I mean workplace policy, right? But in your case, when you were creating these things, you were setting up all these things properly add your workplaces policy, right? Then if you have a link, to your website or somewhere else where you have described your company policies you can add the link over here as well after that you can add some featured on-site benefits which you provide if i click on add benefits button you have these options 
and if you provide any of these benefits you can add it here like let's say i provide free meals right so i have added one and let's say we provide one more thing which is remote working option so we have added that as well right then location based pay adjustment if you have any location based pay adjustment policy in your company you can add it like based on employee region based on employee country based oh sorry employee location does not impact pay so whatever the whatever the option suits your company you can select it otherwise you can select this option as well basically you can leave this op option as default like do not show this section right then vaccine policy is also there after coronavirus vaccine policy option is also there so still i'm um, on this option i'm using the default option which is do not show this section but if you have policy that vaccine is required for in person work vaccine not recommended in person work or no vaccine requirement you can select anything whatever the option you have preferred right after this hit the save button and your workplace module is also done then commitments so guys as a company you are hiring many people you are a team of 30 40 or 100 maybe 200 people right so you need to have some commitments with your team you need to have some promises with your team and that's what you have to mention here in this part right uh, if i read this once that commitments are promises to your employees and broader community right so what are the promises what are the commitments you have to your employees you have to mention those things here and these are the examples like make sure to include relevant links to resources public facing reports because you just i mean you can't just claim that you have commitment to this or commitment to that you have to provide the proof as well that really that 100 percent you have commitment to that thing right if i show you hit the continue button and if i turn on this uh, i think yeah we have to directly add the commitments like you provide work life balance you have a commitment that you or your company has a good work life balance so you can add this thing and here you can describe that commitment right now you can turn on this section right now you can describe that how you provide your work basically why your company's work life balance is good or how you provide work life balance right you can describe that thing here so right now i'm just adding demo 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 but you can describe if your company does have good work life balance right then work life balance perks and benefits if you have any perks and benefits you can mention here like what type of work life balance you provide child care support paid maternity leave or paid paternity leave commuter benefits so whatever the uh, work life balance or option provides your company you can add it like we provide company wellness days so i've selected this one you can go up to up to maximum 10 and at least one is required after that you have to add the resources as well resources are like the proof that you really provide these commitments uh, basically these commitments are true your promises are true right you have to provide the proofs as well right so if i click on this save button okay it is asking me to add at least 50 words so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to copy it and paste 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 yes now it's 50 words and if i hit the save button the details is saved now right but the thing is you have to add the resources as well so that the people who are going to join your company can believe on you right after this after the commitment section is done go to the location section here you can add your location whatever the location you have add locations and you can select the country then you can select the street address and all and if your organization that doesn't have a street address you can turn this option on and then the street ad address will be disappeared right but in our case we do have so i'm adding 12 three Bihar, right? Then the city is New Delhi. State is Delhi only. Postal code one one zero zero nine two. Location name headquarters. Yes, 
after all these settings after adding the location hit that save button and your location is also done so try to add as many as information you can right because it will help your employees to understand the company and make believe that everything is legit and you have a proper legitimate company right okay it is showing any error let me do it once again i've selected the country again here i have to select the street address there might be some error no issue i'm adding again oops a small mistake delhi postal code 110092 location headquarter done again it is showing some error and it says another admin is trying to make changes to this page at the same time as you okay guys there was a small error i have just refreshed the page and the location has been added right not no nothing else there is no need to worry about it after this once you are done with your about section we are into the leads section and what you can do is in the lead section is you can create a lead generation form you just have to turn this toggle on and what you can do is you can create your proper form so that you can get some high quality leads from here as well right because this page is not not just for your employees this is for your business and for your customers as well if you provide serve any kind of service or a product which can be sold to linkedin users as well you can create the lead generation form so that you can make some sales as well right so for that to create a form you just have to select the cta that whatever the cta suits you like contact sales request free demo free trial get started whatever the option suits you you can add it then whenever you are creating a lead generation form you have to add the privacy policy so what you can do is you can just go to your website and like our website is marketing fundas so you can go to marketing fundas fundas.com and select the privacy policy page of your website get the link and paste it here right then here you can create the lead form headline and the body copy and then all the options right so right now i'm not going to create any lead form in this account but i just showed you how this thing works discard edits then in the community section we do have hashtag option so you can add some important hashtags which are relevant to your business relevant to your page you just need to click on add hashtag button and like you can add digital marketing and hit the select basically the hashtag right this is how you can simply add social media marketing like this right and select it so this is how you can add some hashtags as well into your account then hit the save button and almost everything is done now we have done with community leads about section and in the header section we do have page info which we have already filled and the buttons which we have already added while creating the page right now hit the close right now we don't want to post anything it is asking me to post something start posting no no thanks i'll show you how to uh, post on insta sorry linkedin as well but in this video i'm just showing you how to set up your page now if i refresh this thing up you'll be able to see that so much information has been added into your page now let me directly go to view as member now as you can see tons of information has been added like this right and if you click on about section you'll be able to see more information right work life balance is totally demo 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 which we have added right so this is how you can create or add some professionalism into your market sorry linkedin marketing i mean linkedin business page right now one more thing you can done uh, let me go to view as admin you can add the background banner of your page like we have added into our profile so for that just click on this pencil icon upload cover image it is asking and the recommended size is also mentioned here so let me click on this 
and let me just select one example banner which we have added into our account as well as you can see this one is the example banner and i'll be adding to this page as well it is getting saved now you can see how cool it is looking right so i hope you learn how to properly set up all the settings in your linkedin business page and how to make it look professional and if you learn this procedure properly if you like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button also share this playlist with the needy friends who want to learn linkedin marketing even you can go to our playlist youtube channels playlist where i have already published facebook marketing google ads and tons of other courses are available there you can explore some extra things and with that said i'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye